let's use this problem to walk through and practice central limit theorem. So SAT weighting score, suppose the scores of SAT critical weighting follows normal distribution with mean equals to 500. So we have mu equals to 500 and then standard deviation is equals to 120 and then we have a random sample of 36 students. Now, one, before we start, one question that my student asks me all the time is, hey, we have two standardization formulas so far, right? One is x minus mu divided by sigma, and then one is x bar minus mu divided by sigma over square root of n, which is written right here. Hey, when do I know which one we should use? Like in this problem, which one should I use? Look at the problem. The problem gave you a sample size, right? So that means you have to take sigma divided by square root of n when you see the sample size. Okay, so part A, I want to calculate the mean is at most, which is no more than 485. So A, we have um we have probability, so the x bar is no more than, so no more than is um at most less than or equal to 485. So the first thing that we do immediately is we standardize that. So that is a 485 minus the mean divided by sigma over square root of n. And then let's find out what that equals to. So in our calculator, I start with an open parenthesis. I have 485 minus 500 and then divided by open another parenthesis 120 divided by the square root of 36. Okay, so close parenthesis. Make sure you use parenthesis properly. All right, so let's see what that equals to. That is negative 0 0.75 and then let's draw a picture. Okay, so we have this and then this is C, right? So the mean is equals to zero, negative 0 0.75 less than or equal to, so that is the area or the probability that we are looking for. And then since we have the cut, we want to find probability, then we use normal CDF. That is from negative infinity to negative 0 0.75, the mean is equals to 0, the standard deviation is equals to 1. Regarding normal CDF, we go to second verse to find normal CDF. In the previous chapter, normal distribution, I make a couple video that fully discuss how the normal CDF works. So if you don't know how normal CDF works at all, you have to watch those videos, right? So you go to second and then you go to VARS and then normal CDF is in option two, right? The second line. What about normal PDF? Normal PDF is finding a point on the curve that doesn't give you probability. So you don't need to use PDF to find probability. CDF, the C stands for cumulative. Cumulative means you are finding area under the curve, not finding a specific point, all right? So CDF, and then we have negative infinity, so negative one, second comma, nine, nine, and then negative 0 0.75, the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, then the probability is 0 0.2266. So that is the answer that we are looking for. All right, so let's take a look at B. B is at least 518, so B, you have probability x bar. Let's switch a color for each problem. So in part B, let's use orange. So B is probability that x bar is greater than or equal to 518. So we have probability, start the standardization process. We take 518, subtract the mean, and then divide it by 120 over the square root of 36. So let's find out what that equals to. We have a 518 minus 500, remember to put them in parentheses, divided by open parentheses, 120 divided by the square root of 36, and then we close parentheses. So that is equals to 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and then we draw a picture. Standard normal mean is 0, and then 0 0.9, greater than or equal to that. So we have this, and then we have normal CDF from 0 0.9 to positive infinity, mean is 0, standard deviation is 1. So second verse, normal CDF, 0 0.9 to positive infinity, you type 1, and then the base 10 is second comma, then that gives you the E, and then you type 99, 
the mean is zero, standard deviation is one, then we have 0 0.1841, right? For the probability, I like to use four decimal places. For the Z, the, the standardized value, I would like to use three decimal places if rounding is necessary. Okay, one thing that I would like to discuss other than the problem is how do you get to the answer without showing any work? So for part B, let me show you how. So for part B, to get to do this in one step, here is how we do it. So we use normal CDF. And then we start right here, the 518. So the way we do this is we take 518 to pass the infinity, not 0.9 because 518 is before standardization, then the mean is equals to 500. That is before standardization. The mean is not equal to zero. And then the standard error is 120 divided by the square root of 36. That gives you the same answer. So let me show you that quickly. Oh, before I touch my calculator, let's, this is for B, right? Let's do, do one uh, for, for A. For A, you have normal CDF, so that will be from negative infinity to 485. The mean is 500. The standard error is 120 divided by the square root of 36. Okay, let's do this using calculator. Second verse, normal CDF. Let's do the blue one first. From 518, comma, passive infinity, one second, comma, 99. The mean is 500. The standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. And then you close parentheses, so that is one step to give you the answer. Do you see that? You get the exact same answer. And then in part A, we go to second verse, normal CDF. So we have negative infinity, so negative one second comma nine nine. And then to 485, the mean is equals to 500. The standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. And then we close parentheses. See, you get the exact same answer, 0 0.2266. All right, so now time to move on to C. C is a between, between 492 and 560. First, let's pick another color for C. So for C, 492 and 560. So C is uh, 492. And then 560, right? Let's make sure this is 100%. 492, 560. 560, all right. And then we start the standardization process. So that is 492 minus 500 divided by 120 over square root of 36 less than Z. Since we started the standardization process, we have to change the X bar, the random variable, to a Z. And then 560 minus 500 divided by 120 over the square root of 36. Okay, 492 minus 500, close parentheses, divided by 120, divided by the square root of 36. All right, you have negative 0 0.4. This one, if you don't want to type the whole thing again, click second and then you click enter. The previous command shows up. So on your calculator, you have to move the cursor, right? Move the cursor to the four. So you will see that the four is flashing, right? And then you type 560, it will override the 492. And then you press enter, that is three. Let me make sure this is right, 560, right? Okay, 560, 492, 560. So that is uh, three, and then close parentheses. So here is the graph. mean is equals to zero, negative 0.43 covers almost the entire piece on the right. So this is our probability. And then we do normal CDF from negative 0 0.4 to 3. The mean is zero, standard deviation is one. So second was normal CDF, negative 0 0.4 to 3, mean is zero, standard deviation is one then you have 0 0.6541. So that is part C, and then this screenshot is for the uh, percentile problem. Let's move this down. We are not trying to deal with that right now. And then what about the shortcut? So the shortcut is normal, CDF. You go straight from the 492, and then to 560, 
the mean is 500, the standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. So second VARS, normal CDF, 492 to 560, the mean is 500, the standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. See, you get the exact same thing. So that is C, so let me go, go up to pick up D. D is a no less than, no less than, means which is greater than or equal to 600, right? So D, no less than, no less than what? 600. So no less than, so that is a X bar greater than or equal to 600. The opposite of less than is greater than or equal to. By the way, uh, does there, is there a difference if you use greater than versus greater than or equal to? The answer is no. Even though you take away the equal, that makes no difference because the X bar is a continuous random variable. All right, standardize that. 600 minus 500 divided by 120 over square root of 36. So that is probability C greater than or equal to 600 minus 500. No, I need to use parentheses. 600 minus 500 and then divided by 120 over the square root of 36. So that is equals to 5. And then this is zero. Five is all so far to the right. So if you use a greater than, the probability is so tiny. So this one you expect to see the probability in scientific notation, which is the purpose of making this problem. From five to positive infinity, zero and one. So second verse, normal CDF. From five to positive infinity, and then the mean is zero, standard deviation is 1c, so this is a 2.87 times 10 to the negative 7. This probability is very close to zero. So what is this in, uh, in decimal? Let me move this away. So in decimal, that is zero point, that many zero, 2.87. So which is very close to zero. And then the shortcut, the shortcut you do normal, CDF, you go from 600 to passive infinity. The mean is 500. The standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. So let's do that quickly. Second verse. Okay, the second doesn't respond too well. Second verse, normal CDF from 600 to positive infinity. 500, the standard deviation is 120 divided by the square root of 36. So you have the exact same answer. Okay, so that's all the probability question. And then in the next piece, I would like to discuss this screenshot. These are inverse normal distribution.